there is a power, the most valuable power in the universe. Humans are its carriers. Despite the fact that everyone has it in abundance, everyone tries to steal it from each other. The powers that be do everything they can to redirect that power toward themselves. This power is so valuable that 25,000 years ago the planet Earth was captured by a high-tech alien race of Apexians. They enslaved people for the sole purpose of stealing and taking from them this most valuable resource. What is this power that is so precious to all? Where is its source? That power is the power of our attention. The Apexians are a superior animal race. They possess great technology due to their cohesion and collective intelligence. But they don't have a soul. In other words, they are very smart animals. But humans have a soul, which is a source of pure energy. The source of the power that makes up everything in the universe and the universe itself. The paradox is that people themselves do not understand the value of this gift. But Apexians are very aware of that. They are so aware that they travel hundreds of thousands of light years to capture what is given to humans simply by birthright. The total intelligence of Apexians far exceeds the total intelligence of humankind. Because we people are divided. And until we people unite and become a civilization in the true sense of the word, we will be weak in every way. Only by uniting can we channel our most valuable resource into unity and creation, saving ourselves from future difficulties. And of course, we will be able to confront global space threats. The Apexians are soulless alien creatures. And in order to deceive humans and force them to voluntarily direct the power of their attention to them, they introduced religion into human society and they called themselves gods, to whom people literally prayed. The power of attention is so valuable to the Apexians that those who invested the most attention and prayed the hardest would be exalted by them, giving them power over others, restoring their health and granting them earthly goods. This is where people have their genetic belief that if a person prays to God, then God must give him all material things he asks for in his prayer. The Apexians built specially shaped temples so that those who came to them would give even more of their energy. And it's not magic, it's physics. After all, the geometry of buildings is closely related to physics and has either cumulative or devastating effect. In those distant times, humankind was able to unite and ask for help from the Anunnaki, a superior humanoid race. The Anunnaki expelled the Apexians from Earth, freeing humanity from slavery, allowing people to decide for themselves how to live. But surprisingly, with the liberation from the Apexian slavery, the hunt for the power of attention in human society did not cease. People themselves began to invent different ways to steal it from each other, imitating their former masters. After all, religions exist to this day. Besides the material world with its cruel laws, there is the spiritual world. This is our true home. But people constantly forget this. And in order to restore the lost knowledge of the essence of human nature and possibility of spiritual development, messengers from the spiritual world and the prophets were sent to the material world. They told people how to control their attention, where to invest it, how to activate the infinite inner source of power, the soul. How not to be a slave and not to give away the most precious thing you have to parasites, but to grow and develop a spiritual being who has tremendous opportunities. This is why Apexian followers have always so zealously destroyed and distorted the knowledge that the prophets brought, so that people would not know the truth and would give all their attention to them, strengthening their power and authority over people.
and people themselves would become the powerless dead and, at the end of life, turn into a subpersonality, expendable material. Despite such difficulties, everyone has the right of personal choice and everyone decides for himself where to invest one's own attention, whom to serve and to worship. Don't give your life to parasites. Make your choice consciously. Live.